This story is not about a global conflict. It's not about some diplomatic war or some controversy playing out on the world stage. This is a story about the world trying to turn India into its dustbin. Tonight I want to tell you how the developed world takes out its trash. How they take all of their broken electronics, their computers, laptops, smartphones, telephones, televisions and dump them in countries like India. This trend, by the way, is not new. The developed world has long used developing countries as their dumping ground. Tonight I want to show you how they do it. How does this happen? How the West is burying its toxic waste in India and how this trash is poisoning our water, our land and our people. More than 90% of the world's e-waste is traded or dumped illegally every year. More than 90%. A lot of this trash ends up in India and the rest of Asia. Says who? The United Nations. This is what their report found in 2015. Which countries are doing this? Which countries are dumping their trash in India? Topping the list is Western Europe. Says who? A World Economic Forum report from 2019. This report mapped out how the developed world moves its e-waste. The entire operation is undocumented. It happens through illegal channels to avoid detection by authorities. And the e-waste is often transported through illegal shipping routes. Here is a section from that report. It is in the form of a map that we have reproduced. E-waste from Europe often ends up in India via Central Asia. This report says that on average, one citizen of the European Union produces around 17 kilograms of e-waste every year. One citizen. In all, European nations discard 1.3 million tons of electronic products through undocumented ways. And a lot of this trash ends up in India. Here's another report. It says that e-waste from Australia is being dumped in India. Again, it is done illegally, so the full extent of this is very hard to verify. But the trend is unmistakable. The developed world is treating India like a trash can. The very idea is unsavory, and wait till you find out how dangerous this is. What we're talking about here is e-waste, electronic waste. You can't just dump e-waste like your regular trash. It needs to be recycled properly. Our electronics today contain a lot of rare and potentially hazardous materials. Take the case of a smartphone, your smartphone. Do you know what all it contains? Elements like gold, iron, lead, copper, cobalt, silicon, mercury. A lot of these can be extracted and reused. But it doesn't happen. In most cases, the broken electronics end up in massive landfills. These turn into poisonous dumps, making people sick. Let me show you another report. It's from last year. Your old electronics are poisoning people at this toxic dump in Ghana. That's what the headline said. There is a massive landfill near Ghana's capital, Accra, where e-waste, again from Europe, is dumped. The locals try to burn it in an attempt to salvage copper and other metals. And this is what it has led to. Now these locals are coughing blood. Some locals have also complained of chest pain, headaches, because they inhale toxic smoke. And don't think this doesn't happen in India. A lot of the sea waste ends up in the hands of informal waste pickers in India. Reports say workers on Indian e-waste sites have experienced decreased lung, inf lung function, skin disorders, gastric diseases that cause cramps and liver damage. So why does India allow this? Is India defenseless against this dumping by the West? Well, not entirely. There are laws in place. Laws to manage e-waste have been in place in India since 2011. Only authorized dismantlers and recyclers are allowed to collect electronic waste. India strengthened these rules in the year 2016 by imposing a complete ban on the import of e-waste. But tackling illegal transfer of e-waste remains a challenge. And the West, instead of building proper disposal sites, is dumping its waste in countries like India. Only 35% of second-hand and waste electronics in Europe end up in official recycling collection systems. What happens to the rest? It's thrown in the dustbin, exported to countries like India. Now, this trash from the developed world is poisoning people. What is India doing to safeguard its people from this? This is part one of our special report. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.